Welcome back. So this image draws a clear picture of what it's like for someone who has glaucoma. It's a condition that gets worse over time and without treatment may cause permanent blindness. Historically, the way to treat the problem is with eye drops, but anyone who's used them knows it can be a real pain. So here now with significant advances in glaucoma surgery is Dr. Paul with the eye centers of Racine and Kenosha. Great to see you again. Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank Happy you. holidays Welcome to you back. too. This is such a common problem, glaucoma, right? It's Is it something that that happens with age? It is. As time goes on, uh, there's a higher risk of developing glaucoma. It's actually the second leading cause of blindness around the world. So it's a very common problem that we, that we face every day in our practice. What is it? What is glaucoma? So glaucoma is a condition where the nerve in the back of the eye becomes damaged. So like, like, in, a, like in a camera, we have uh, the back of the eye, the light hits it, mm -hmm. and the nerve, like a cable, connects the eye to the brain. So that nerve becomes damaged, and one of the reasons why is one of the main common reasons is the pressure goes up in the eye. Like a water oh. balloon, the eye is hollow, and there's a natural fluid the eye makes. That fluid has to leave the eye, and unfortunately, the internal mechanisms that drain the fluid out of the eye don't function very well. So like a water balloon, it gets basically pressure builds up, and that nerve becomes damaged. And and that, wh what's the traditional treatment uh, been for, for glaucoma? Yeah, and the mainstay, so we want to bring the pressure down. And how we do that is by using eye drops. And eye drops are great. They work very well. But the problem is, you know, cost, side effects of drops, you know, obviously redness, irritation, dry eye can get worse with drops. Uh, people have rem don't remember. It's hard to take it every single day of your life. And so compliance becomes a big issue. So drops are great, but then we also have a surgical option. And surgery, unfortunately, has risks with surgery. So we used to wait and wait and wait until the glaucoma was worse before we did surgery. Mm -hmm. But now we have this new type of glaucoma surgery called MIGS, Minimally Invasive Glaucoma Surgery. That's allowing us to intervene earlier to protect people, get them off of drops, because the safety is so much better than the traditional. We're, and we're looking at this. Uh, walk us through this. Yeah, this is uh, something called the eye stent, which came out about four years ago. It's the first FDA-approved device in the U U.S. And that's for that MIGS. piece right there that on the That small penny. one millimeter piece actually goes in the eye. It's the smallest implantable device in the human body. And what's really neat about it, it takes uh, five or ten minutes. There's very little post-operative care, and it can help. Well, and using this penny is y is <laughs> your way of showing how small it, it is. It is extremely small. People yeah. can't feel it. They can't see it. And you, and after surgery, your recovery is very similar to that of a normal cataract surgery. Even you know, very little minimal risk involved. And. So this is normal flow, what we're looking at right now? Yeah, so this is flow that's actually reestablished. So the, okay. the, the stent is in the eye right now, and it's allowing the fluid to flow out of the natural mechanism. So we're basically reestablishing the natural drainage system of the eye. So we're not falsely changing the natural physiology of the eye. So from a safety perspective, it's a lot nicer. What type of patient is the minimally invasive surgery right for? So for people who have early or mild to moderate glaucoma. So historically, we kind of hand shackle people and say, sorry, you're not bad enough to have glaucoma surgery, so stick with drops, right? Mm -hmm. And it would be frustrating for our patients. So people have early, mild to moderate glaucoma. Now we can go ahead and provide this opportunity to help get them off of some of the drops and then negate the need to the cost and all those issues that we face. And in getting this approved, this device, because I can't get over how small it is. You yeah. were actually part of some of the studies, right? Yeah, we're part of this study with the eye stent. There's newer versions of the eye stent coming out. We're part of studies that are also other devices that have been out there that are coming out. What's beautiful about this whole MIG space is not just the eye stent. We have something called the side pass, which is one right there, a different mechanism, a way to get the pressures down, something called the Zen. There's another procedure called canaloplasty that can reestablish. So there's multiple new companies that have come out with different devices that can tailor, allow us to tailor the type of surgery depending on on what's wrong with the patient, the type of glaucoma they have. So now we have much better approaches to treating glaucoma now. It's unbelievable what technology can bring oh, to these condi <laughs> conditions. I'm curious what patients are saying <coughs> about um, the minimally invasive surgery and all of these new options for them. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. it's, gr it's great. I mean, the, the, for me as a glaucoma specialist, the best feeling I get is when someone says, Doc, thank you, right? That's how like cataract surgery is so much yeah. fun, LASIK. Well, with glaucoma, we can't make their vision better. We can protect her from getting worse. But if you can get someone off of drops, and they come in saying, doctor, thank you. I, I don't have to worry about taking it with me my trips. I don't have to worry about sleeping and going, oh my God, did I forget my drops. So that is a great feeling. So people are so happy being off these drops now. And we're gonna hear from a patient, yeah, right? Who's yeah. in your office who had this great experience. Let's Absolutely. Take a look. And as far as the surgery went, it went great. Uh, it lasted uh, two, three minutes and everything was done. Wonderful. I am very, very happy. I'm, my three months are up now. My pressures are down. Everything is good. No drops. Yay, no drops. <laughs> <laughs> for people, you can sense the excitement, yeah, right? Exactly. You could sense it. I mean, for people yeah, who great. don't have this condition, no drops is a really big deal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. think about it. I had a patient, a, a, a daughter of a, of a mother, 
who she said, thank you, Doc, because now I don't have to travel to my mother's house every night to put her drops because she can't do it herself. You know, oh, so that wow. it changed her whole daily function. Her whole life. Her life because yeah. of that one surgery. Well, and I'm glad we're talking about glaucoma today, but and, and after visiting your office, it's clear that you that you're you you pride yourself, but you're all also very interested in the latest technology because patients are recovering so quickly and it's minimally invasive often and it really changes their quality of life. Exactly, and that's a key difference. Now, I think as an ophthalmologist, as a community, as a, as a um, eye care profession, we're worried more about quality of vision and quality of life. And so whether it's glaucoma, cataracts, you know, dry eye, laser correction, that's the, in, in the issue for us is how do we maintain high quality of life for our patients. It's wonderful. Yeah. Great to see you. Thank, Thank you. you so Thanks much for bringing yeah. us this technology. You can have a glaucoma evaluation or if there are any other um, concerns you have related to your eyesight, your vision, you can contact the doctors at the eye care centers of Racine and Kenosha. The phone number for a consult is 262-637-0500 or you can visit them online at amazingeye.com. Great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We Thank appreciate you your time. Too.